Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the characteristics and the required features of this fixed bias bistable multivibrator. In the previous video, we have started the discussion of this bistable multivibrator with the fixed bias configuration. I told you already there are two configurations in this bistable multivibrator, fixed bias and self bias. So suppose if you consider collector coupled bistable multivibrator. Fixed bias we have started in the last class with this uh, circuit diagram. See here, these are the two transistors connected in, where the collectors are coupled here. Okay, that's why it is coming under collector coupled bistable multivibrator. It's a classification of collector coupled bistable multivibrator where the base of bases of these two transistors are connected with the biasing resistors through a biasing supply. Okay, it's a fixed voltage we are giving fixed biasing supply we are giving to the basis of these two transistors. Okay, that's why it is a classification of fixed bias. Now, what could be the values of these RC values on either sides of these transistors and R1 values and as well as R2 values of this particular uh, fixed bias configuration? How much we need to choose to make this particular bistable multivibrator working in a fixed bias configuration? Okay, so such type of characteristics you are going to see here that is nothing but selection of components in a fixed bias by stable multivibrator. Okay, so that is selection of components in fixed bias by stable multivibrator fixed bias by stable multivibrator so what are the various parameters we have and how to choose them that is very important when we are going to design a fixed bias configuration okay so first and foremost thing is collector current here the collector current is coming from vcc and entering into the collectors of these transistors suppose if you take the first transistor q1 Suppose assume that the first transistor is in on state and second transistor is in off state. When first transistor is in on state, there is a flow of current through this transistor through this resistor RC from VCC through this resistor RC and then it enters into the collector and goes down towards this emitter and goes to the ground. This is the flow of current IC. So if you take this is the IC. Okay. And next, suppose Coming to the other side of this bistable multivibrator, if you take this Q2 as off, then there exists very least amount of current flowing through this transistor because the transistor is in off, we can say IC is equal to 0. IC2 is equal to 0. What about IC1? It is the voltage. We can say VCC by RC. VCC by RC voltage by current is nothing but IC. So for an on transistor, we can say the value of collector current the value of collector current should be IC must be is equal to VCC by RC. I am not specifying for which transistor it is. Okay, it should be applicable to both the transistors. If I if it is a first transistor, it is VCC by RC1. If it is a second transistor collector current, VCC by RC2. And what are the other values we have RC, R1 and R2. So the values of R1, R2 and VVB must be selected such that there should be one stable state and another one is the, nothing but one stable state. The base current is large enough to drive the transistor into saturation. See, the values of this R1 and R2 must be selected. How to select this R1 and R2 must be selected in such a way that one transistor should be in saturation and another transistor should be in cutoff region. That is the condition. Okay. The, uh, the balance should be maintained like that. Okay. Suppose if you are choosing the values of R1 and R2 like that, uh, both the transistors in saturation, both the transistors in cutoff, that won't work. Okay. So the second important consideration is the values of R1, R2 and VBB must be 
selected to maintain or to get one transistor in saturation and other in cutoff that is the condition next output voltage swing how to calculate the output voltage swing output voltage swing we indicate output voltage swing output voltage swing let us indicate it with vw so output voltage swing is 100 percent achieved if the transistor is completely off see suppose if the transistor q1 is on state and q2 is in on off state if you are measuring the output voltage vc2 here then we are going to measure the voltage from collector to ground when vc2 is calculated across this off transistor it should be equal to vcc because for an off transistor it is open circuited open circuit voltage is maximum that's why it is vcc and what is the other case it should be zero when this is in on state vc1 is taken across this like this and it should be equal to zero volts so when we are having the complete saturated and complete cutoff transistors the output voltage swing must be complete swing nothing but vcc and as well as ground so output voltage swing is equal to vcc across off transistor and zero volts per on transistor so what is the maximum voltage swing voltage swing is nothing but vcc minus zero that is equal to vcc vcc is the voltage swing voltage swing the gap between to maximum peak and minimum peak this is nothing but vcc okay so this is the voltage swing and other than these the component values the supply voltages and the values like uh, uh, open circuited collected to base current and beta value and vb set vc set all these are sufficient for the analysis of the binary circuit so binary circuit is nothing but bistable multivibrator so we have to choose all the other values also like icbo icbo is nothing but open circuited collector to base current and emitter open whichever is not there that is open and hfe hfe is beta and vb sat and vc sat we see set so these component values the supply voltages and all these values are sufficient for the analysis of are sufficient for analyzing analyzing binary circuit binary is nothing but bistable binary circuit or we can also call it as bistable multivibrator it is bistable multivibrator okay now along with this we should also concentrate on the effect of loading effect of loading what do you mean by loading what do you mean by loading sometimes the binary circuit or the bistable multivibrator which i am showing here this binary circuit is used to drive other circuits sometimes the output of this binary circuit suppose if you are taking a bistable multivibrator BMV bistable multivibrator the output of this bistable multivibrator can be connected to any other circuits it may be a circuit 1 or it may be a circuit 2 or any other number of circuits which are used to drive so this driving capability must be selected for this bistable multivibrator so whichever is connected that will be acting for this binary multivibrator as load okay so whichever the circuit is driven by this bistable multivibrator is as acting as a load for this bistable multivibrator so in order to accomplish that task the binary multivibrator bistable multivibrator must be accomplished or 
equipped with two more diodes equipped with two more diodes for proper switching actions for proper switching <coughs> actions suppose uh, what is the problem here if we don't use the diodes what is the problem see the output of this collector is given to other circuits let it be circuit one other circuit and similarly the output of this circuit is given to circuit two assume a condition the transistor q1 is in on state and transistor q2 is in off state okay suppose if the output circuit which is connected at this particular transistor see initially when this particular transistor is in off state here you are having low current and maximum voltage at this point you are having low current and maximum voltage and at this point you are having high current and low voltage suppose the circuit which is connected here the, uh, that draws maximum current that draws maximum current that makes the voltage low here that makes the voltage low here that depends upon the load we are connecting so when the vc2 goes down then what happens vc2 goes down that makes the b1 b1 vb1 also down when bb1 down see here i will write the notation when vc2 goes down that makes vb1 also goes down see here the voltage at this particular point if decreases that in turn decreases the voltage at this base of the transistor then this voltage may not be sufficient to maintain the transistor q1 in saturation then what happens transistor q1 goes into off that means it comes out of saturation region and slowly enters into the cutoff region then this increases the vc1 potential then vb1 increases that implies q2 comes into on state this is the cyclic process if you are having an extra circuitry that is connected and which changes the behavior of the bistable multi vibrator so to avoid this problem we should use we should use two diodes must be selected and connected at this particular point from collector to collector with additional voltage v must be less than vcc here the diodes are connected back to back like this okay this is diode d1 it is the diode d2 here the voltage we are connecting between these two diodes must be less than vcc must be less than vcc okay diodes are coming into on state whenever the transistor should not change its direction should not change its direction see suppose consider the same previous case if vc2 reduces the transistor comes into comes into what on the on state okay so when it comes into on or off state the property of this particular transistors which are been in the previous state will not be altered okay so that is the problem of loading in that way the problem of loading can be avoided by using these two diodes d1 and d2 okay and so another condition we should maintain that is a transistor on off conditions like a transistor as an on off switch so this is the third point to be noted transistor on off switch so for standard specifications of this transistor to be on or off first one in the cutoff in the cutoff region that is for off state for off state vbe cutoff v base to emitter cutoff must be equal to less than or equal to 0 volts per silicon and must be less than or equal to minus 0 0.1 volt per germanium so according to the material we are using whether it is a silicon or germanium the cutoff voltage must be 
selected in such a way it should be like a zero volts it should be less than zero volts or it should be less than minus 0 0.1 volt and similarly in saturation in saturation region means on state in saturation means it is in on state vb is at there are two saturation voltages vb is at and vc is at vb is at must be chosen 0.7 volts for silicon and 0.3 volts for germanium we know this point already in saturation the diode voltages are nothing but your transistor voltages and coming to vc is at 0.3 volts for silicon and 0.1 volt for germanium vce sat vc sat output saturation voltage is very very low compared to the vb sat okay because uh, to achieve full voltage swing i told you already full voltage swing is nothing but vcc to 0 volts this is the full voltage swing okay so these are the specifications and uh, uh, selection of each and every component to make the fixer bias configuration more stable and accurate thank you